Hey everybody, welcome back to Oscars Oak Gauge Trains. As you can tell, I picked up the new Lionel Union Pacific Doodle Bug. This particular one is the Union Pacific uh, Detector Car, DC-3. I absolutely love it. Uh, I've been running it left and right. If you've been following me, I uh, actually purchased a car to pull behind it. Totally love this thing. Um, I generally love all engines that are uniquely shaped like the GG, the Camelback, the Dreyfus, any of the European uh, engines, cab forward, and this Doodlebug. So when it came available, I jumped right on it. I believe this engine was one of the recent MTH tooling acquisitions. And I just love the shape, the color, and I when it when it came available, I just jumped right on it. MTH has a different tooling for their detector car, which is model 20-20340-1. Now, actually, I think their version has the detector equipment accurately displayed between the two trucks. This one obviously doesn't have it. That's okay. So it appears, you know, Lionel, they uh, took some creative licensing by using one tooling to create four different offerings. Uh, over to the right here, you see Santa Fe, the Maryland and Pennsylvania, the Pensy version, and then the one I got, which is the Union Pacific detector car. Now I'm no big history buff and I'll never try to dig too deep but I did do a little research and I was able to find out uh, that many of the doodlebugs got repurposed uh, from the detector car into a light passenger and freight duty. And up until yeah, the 1960s or so. So it's very possible for this engine to actually have existed in its current state. They yanked all of the uh, detector equipment out and just turned it into a light duty passenger car. The uh, original listing price for this engine was $399.99, but I, I would guess if you go through a respectable vendor, you should be able to pick one up for about $350 plus ship, shipping. I, I think that's what I paid for mine. Now, I've read lots of moaning and groaning from some MTH fans about the pricing uh, for these based on what MTH charged for theirs back in the 2000, early 2000s, which was around three, uh, I'm sorry, 130 to 150 bucks. And in my opinion, that's not apples to apples comparison at all, because that was over 20 years ago. But you're going to hear it that, you know, Lionel charges too much. And quite honestly, for, you know, what I'm getting here, uh, that's not a bad price in my opinion. So let's go over some of the features. I've listed them over to the right there. And as you can see, it has Lion Chief Plus offerings, the basic offerings. It's got a nice length on it for uh, 14 and a half inches. The minimal curve is like 031. It has spectacular fan driven smoke. I absolutely love it. Uh, <clears throat> there is a on and off switch for smoke and sound that can be found on it as well. So I, I noticed that it, it does have a uh, dual electric couplers, both one in the front and the back, but it listed dual powerful maintenance free motors. And I don't think it has two. I just think that's an error on the marketing side, but I could be wrong. I'm almost tempted to pop the hood on this bad boy just to see uh, that there's just one one engine in it. Uh, but at any rate, it does have the uh, die cast <coughs> trucks, pilots and the fuel tank there. Directional headlights. I'll show that off here shortly and uh, cab interior illumination. So uh, I did notice some shortcomings. It looks like that bells on the wrong side from Historical pictures show the bell on the other side. Paint detail is just really nice. It's got nice rivet details. One of the good things about this one is all one piece. 
there are no uh you know separately applied anything so this is a good one for the kids to play with unfortunately it just it just runs it, it it's a tank i absolutely love it well as you can tell i got some electricity on the rails and let's kind of just go through some of the details as you can see the rivet detail on this thing is spectacular paint is awesome and man that fan driven smoke i mean i don't even have to really say anything because it's still in the show here got a crew figure inside absolutely awesome let's go through the horn yep bell love the sound crew talk dispatcher air test is complete can i move over very nice please hold tower out oh yeah look at that now the one thing i don't like is that you can't see through the engine that's probably where the motor is so they kind of block it but outside of that, I mean, if you can kind of ignore it, um, you're going to have fun. If history serves me right, that bell, again, it's supposed to be on the other side. But other than that, this is an awesome engine. Absolutely awesome. At this point, I'm going to show it running around the rails here. And let's have some fun with it. Overall, very nice engine. I really enjoy it on a day-to-day -day basis or whenever I get a chance to run the engines. But I'll say this, um, pricing a little, little too high for the offerings, but it does give you everything that the Lion Chief Plus 2.0 has to offer. So I'd say if you love different engines, if you love to just collect, this is the engine for you. And until next time, guys, enjoy those layouts.